What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and we've got some stimulus check updates for you on federal level and a state level, because what we're hearing is that a lot of people don't realize that there wasn't just three stimulus checks, there's actually state, county, and city checks going out, a lot of which you gotta apply for, and we're hearing 90% of people don't even know that these are available, and I don't want that to be you, so for my viewing community here, I'm gonna make sure that you know about everything that's going on, Keep an eye out for my next video. I'm gonna be doing a comprehensive list of all of the stimulus checks that have come out in the month of February. I'm gonna be covering them all for you in the next video. And you guys, this is your stimulus update. Now, as you know here on the channel, I give you the latest economic news. Uh, I don't share any opinions on it. I just read them right off the articles. I link all the descriptions, give you all the information, straight facts, so you know what's going on. And we're seeing articles coming out like this about federal level stimulus packages. Take a look, you guys. Biden's $1.9 trillion win on the pandemic aid hobbles the rest of his agenda. What they're saying is previous stimulus packages, the last one that he did, that American Rescue Plan, they're saying a lot of people are starting to believe that that might have contributed to the soaring inflation that we're seeing at a 40-year high, and it's kind of dimming the hopes of potentially another stimulus packages and more checks. Take a look at this subtitle, No Decent Economic Justification Scene for Stimulus Checks. And they're saying that fourth stimulus check of $2,000 people were asking for, well, they're saying now if that is the case, there's no decent justification for it. Now, let me know your thoughts because there's that. However, we're hearing a lot of people say, no, the stimulus checks were not enough, those provisions, to cause this massive inflation. It's been all of the spending, supply chain issues, and now war and all of these things taking place that's causing the massive inflation. And there's a lot of people saying we actually need more checks to help out people get through this inflation and the pandemic right now. Let me know your thoughts, and also there's still people letting us know there's $800 billion of leftover funds that have been unused from previous stimulus packages, and that is enough to actually pass two more stimulus checks and add nothing to the debt, a fourth and a fifth of $1,400. So uh, we will see, I'll keep you up to date, but I'm gonna be sharing with you the details from this article. As it says, inflation surge has dimmed the appetite for major new spending. As we've heard from moderate Democrats like Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, as they said their major concerns are inflation. Now, as I mentioned, that's on a federal level. That's what's taking place right now with Congress with another stimulus package. But also, that American Rescue Plan passed $350 billion for states, counties, and cities to pass their own packages and they're starting to do that, and in many cases, their own checks, and I've got a new one for you. Take a look at this, you guys. Cash coming, new stimulus checks worth $15 million is gonna be sent out today. Find out if you're eligible. So you guys, let's dive into the details, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, and that is just simply, if you appreciate these updates, if you could smash that like button, just takes a second. Helps out my channel a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Also, leave your comments, share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. If this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date on everything going on, totally free to do so. All you gotta do to join the Ram Fam is hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload you're notified right away just in case some of these stimulus check updates are time sensitive and if you got any specific questions for me I'm easy to get a hold of directly all you got to do is hop onto Instagram and shoot me a DM at Steve Ram 3 best way to get a hold of me directly but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and dive right in and let's start off with this state check and then let's discuss what's happening right now on a federal level with Congress and more stimulus all right, so first up, let's talk about these state checks that are gonna be going out today. And the article says, stimulus checks worth up to 15 million are gonna be sent out to 10,000 workers in Alabama. Congratulations, the funds are gonna be part of the second round of the Child Care Workforce Stabilization Grants from the state's Department of Human Resources. So that's who's sending them out. And it says, the first round of grants went out to 1,278 child care providers in December of 2021 and January of 2022. Now, full-time employees are in line to get checks of $1,500, while part-time employees are gonna be getting $750. Payments are gonna be rolling out from today, so they're starting right now, and will continue until March 18th. And the scheme was first unveiled back in November, and it is designed to help out child care providers recover from the pandemic. Alabama DHR Commissioner Nancy Buckner said, the nationwide staffing shortage has tested the resilience of the Alabama's child care providers. And as they continue to persevere, these bonuses will help recruit much needed reinforcements and reward current employees for their dedicated services to the children 
and families of Alabama. Now, up to eight quarterly bonuses may be given before September 23rd. Child care providers must meet specific qualifications to apply for grants, and providers must be in operation and must continue operating for a minimum of one year after receiving the bonus funds. Providers must also be in good standing with Alabama DHR. So in addition to that, it also says that Indiana residents, here's a bonus, are gonna be due $125 tax refunds, but only after they file their taxes this year. So there's another one right there. So you guys, congratulations to childcare providers in the state of Alabama. Full-time workers could be getting $1,500. Part-time workers could be getting $750. All right, so now let's talk about what's happening on a federal level with stimulus packages and stimulus checks. So, link in the description below to this Bloomberg article just came out today and it says, there's little doubt that President Joe Biden had it right when he called the $1.9 trillion pandemic relief package that Democrats rammed through Congress a year ago, one of the most consequential in US history. And yes, they're talking about that American Rescue Plan. That's the one that had child tax credits, unemployment extensions, and $1,400 stimulus checks. It says the trouble is that he didn't envisage some of the consequences of passing that package. The American Rescue Plan, including one of the final rounds of stimulus checks among its welters of transfer payments to families and local authorities, was designed as a short-term bridge to an even bigger $4 trillion long-term economic program, one designed to revamp and rebuild the economy and society. And that $4 trillion they're talking about was the original version of the Build Back Better bill. And you'll recall, we had Democrats, after they passed the American Rescue Plan, say, this is just the beginning. We're going to be passing $6 trillion, $7 trillion. 10 trillion, monthly reoccurring checks, unemployment extensions, unemployment boosts, child tax credits, all of these provisions they wanted to see. However, as inflation began to tick up, we begin to see conservative Democrats say no, and we begin to see that package get cut down further and further and further until it is to the place where it is today. And a lot of those provisions that we had heard about, they're no longer included in the package. Now, reading on, it says, instead, economists and former officials say that that American Rescue Plan, it contributed to a sustained pace of high inflation that sent Biden's approval rating skidding and left key moderate Democrats with limited appetites to embrace his remaining economic economic agenda. When Biden delivers his State of the Union speech on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, that political reality is set to confront any new push for investing in human infrastructure, which you'll recall is the new key phrase for stimulus provisions, social spending plans, infrastructure, because it's part of the infrastructure package, but to humans, stimulus provisions for people, such as expanded support for children and health. And it is the centerpiece of his Build Back Better program. And you can see here a chart of the Inflation Association. Consumer prices rise fastest since 1982 amid aid in spending. And you can see how it has skyrocketed over 7% very quickly. And they're saying this is due to stimulus. Now, inflation did accelerate and people did link it back to the ARP or the American Rescue Plan and those policies. And they connected the dots and said that they did not want additional support for the economy, according to Mark Zandi, chief economist for Moody's Analytics. Zandi himself ascribed the elevated level of inflation to the effects of the Delta and Omicron waves, which slowed down the returns of virus-weary Americans to the labor force. So he's also saying that is a contributing factor to the inflation issue we're experiencing right now. And in addition to that, the Russia-Ukraine conflict now threatens to send inflation rates even higher, putting greater burdens on Americans' energy bills. Now, we also heard from the West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, and he is needed in the Senate to pass through a bill through the process of reconciliation for Democrats. And he had this to say about the social spending bill last month. He said, my main concern is still inflation. The high cost that everybody in my state and around the country that I hear from, and that he also said also the geopolitical unrest that we have with Ukraine, all that is going to have a big cost sometime sooner or later. And he also made it clear that any social issues, he said, such as childcare, should be addressed via legislative committees, which is a slower process that can make it harder for Democratic leaders to move forward with Biden's proposals. What we're hearing right now, too, is that um, lawmakers, they are trying to do whatever they can to reassemble the bill. We heard the president say, pull out chunks, rename it, get something passed through so we can get something done. But we also heard that, listen to this, 
Former Treasury Secretary and veteran Democratic policy lawmaker Lawrence Summers said that he's not surprised that Biden has had to uh, pivot. Summers' argument at heart, he said, rested with the basic law of supply and demand. And he contended that the American Rescue Plan package with $1,400 stimulus checks at a cost of $410 billion and also unemployment extensions for those out of work would boost demand beyond the economy's ability to meet it. And that inevitably it would have resulted in higher prices or inflation. And the relief program was a serious error, said Summers, a paid contributor to Bloomberg television. It both set the stage for inflation and politics that we have today, and it's eliminated the chance to make fundamental investments in our country, giving the political context. Now, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with that. However, listen to this. Biden supporters reject that idea that the rescue plan was a mistake, and they point to its role in fueling a powerful economic rebound. Thanks in part to the stimulus, gross domestic product grew last year by 5.7%, the fastest pace since 1984. Unemployment plunged, reaching 4% in January from 6.4% at the start of Biden's presidency. And looking back, I don't think it was too large, said Brian Deese, director of the White House's National Economic Council. It achieved the goal of driving a very strong, inclusive recovery that is delivering an extraordinary amount of economic good to the country. So there you have it, you guys, two very different perspectives about what's unfolding due to the American Rescue Plan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but if Biden supporters and Biden have the same opinion, I think it's very likely that in the State of the Union address tomorrow, President Joe Biden is going to be touting what he has already passed and also what he is planning to pass in the form of another stimulus package, a revised Build Back Better, and we'll see if he's going to be passing even more stimulus provisions as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys, but that is the latest, and as I said, I'll keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just takes a second, really helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date, totally free to do so. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. And with that being said, Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.